Sure, um, so my name is Luca de Beliac. I'm working currently in Microsoft Central and Eastern Europe headquarters. I'm originally coming from Slovenia, so that's a small country, and I'm now working in, in Munich, Germany. Uh, my core occupation is basically launching Windows Azure product. So this is our cloud platform. Um, and I've, you know, I've been taking care of this business for two years now. And we launched in six countries so far in Central Eastern Europe. And we're going to soon launch in several other markets as well, including Ukraine. Um, yeah, that, that's a really good question, but honestly, really, it was uh, because of my background. Because I started um, as a technical guy, you know, Master of Science in computers, Computer Science, and I was doing all the programming and designing the software. So when I joined Microsoft, I was first working in DP organization, Developer and Platform Evangelism organization. And that kind of naturally went into the, the whole software plus services concept that Microsoft introduced a couple of years ago and it landed into the cloud computing. So it was for me a natural step doing the things that I loved about new technology and this is just the path forward because honestly cloud computing is the IT in the next couple of years. This is, this is what everybody is talking about. I, I believe that this is an amazing opportunity for Central and Eastern Europe. And you know why? We, we have, first, we have an enormous developer base. Even in Ukraine, there are 95,000 developers, which is crazily big amount of people who actually develop some software. Um, so far, it was hard you know, to get your ideas globally. With a platform like this, like Windows Azure, you can actually create a super great solution that the whole world will use. And we see that already happening in Central and Eastern Europe. We, we can unleash that creativity of the local developers and put it on the global scale. And we have some successful startups doing that. Um, I believe some of them are also from Ukraine and I hope there are going to be many, many more. So it's, it's, it's really amazing to see this. There are several, so I hope I don't do any injustice to, to some of them. We had some interesting case studies. You know, my favorite one was the first big win that we did, and that was with a media house in uh, Poland. It's called Press Publica. And uh, the amazing story with them was that they, just, they have this huge media portal with a lot of content, you know, video, videos, um, other, other data that, uh, that users can, uh, can access and download. Um, and they wanted to move that to a cloud platform to have it accessible and more reliable. They did it in six weeks. They changed the whole portal in six weeks, did, uh, I don't know, 600 hours of video content, put it on Azure, and it works flawlessly from there on. And they're really, really, really happy about it. Then we have, I don't know, partner wins. One interesting was, for example, from Romania. There is a partner called Siveco. Um, they just published a global case study, and what they did is basically went to the Ministry of Education, and in Romania, Ministry of Education has these exams taken in at the end of the year. You know, everything has to be aligned and they have a web applications for that. So every school and every teacher and everybody has to go and access that, um, that solution. And it was a problem in the data center because of the capacity and the peaks of usage. Um, so they worked with the partners, Siveco, and they created the solution. And now it's running on Windows Azure and it was uh, showcased as a best practice on the worldwide public sector event. So it was, it's really, really interesting. And maybe to name, to name another customer, that's also interesting. And maybe, um, I don't know if you're a fan of Skoda Auto. You know, they're selling uh, cars all around the world. So if today, if you go to their website and you want to configure your Skoda car, they have this 3D graphics of how you configure, uh, configure your car. That's all running on Windows Azure. They actually use that as the platform and they launch it across the world, you know, from APEC to Europe to US. And they're using that platform and really going globally. And that was a really, really great thing for them. And they're going to go forward with many projects. Cloud computing is about many things. Um, it's, it's first of all, it's to get certain workloads that you couldn't uh, normally do for, for a reasonable price inside of your own environment. For example, you know, we, we associate a couple of usage patterns with cloud computing. For example, if if you have a run, I don't know, we have a running website where you sell tickets for different events, for example. Then you know that at a certain moment you will have a lot of people accessing your site uh, to buy the tickets. For example, you know, when you have football match in Ukraine um, with the upcoming um, uh, football tournament or something like that. 
So this is a workload that's hard to do on premise and it's usually really costly. So what you need is dynamic alloc allocation of resources so that you can actually go after those peaks. Then we have some other scenarios when you just use a computational power for a certain amount of time and then you don't use it and then you use it again. So basically it's all about optimizing and the uh, dynamic allocation and optimization of the resources that you use. And this is what cloud is all about. You can scale out infinitely or you can just use a small mo uh, amount of, of resources and that actually gives you a lower TCO. And that is what, what, what the cloud is basically about. First, you know, I, I, I tell this to everyone that works in um, IT industry. Whenever I talk to them, I say, you know, if you don't educate yourself on cloud, you're missing on something really big. Because all the studies currently show that this is the next step in, in, the, in the IT and that people with cloud knowledge are really, you know, needed. So I would tell them, you know, go try to educate yourselves. Um, look at our platform, look at every platform, you know, that there are many out there. Um, we believe we have a really unique proposition and uh, just, you know, start playing with it. Start deploying Windows Azure, start using Office 365, I don't know, wh whatever is in the cloud, start using that and, and get the feeling of how it can benefit your, your company, your product, or, you know, actually lower your costs with that. Advice for the business is, um, this is actually, a, you know, it's a global marketplace. Current, you know, and competition is, is getting bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger. Everybody wants, you know, the same customer. So you have to differentiate yourself. And you can do that, you know, by going globally, by introducing new ideas, by quickly testing some stuff. Um, and usually, you know, even especially if you're a smaller company or, or even if you're a bigger company, you don't have the time or money to go through the whole process of trying everything out. So you want something quickly to try it out, to see if it works with your customers and then deploy it. And this is where cloud actually comes into play. It's, it can be your playground for testing new ideas and quickly do, I don't know, marketing, uh, new product placement, new CRM system, new accounting system. You can do that really quickly. Um, it's great to be in Ukraine on the SWIT conference. I believe you have uh, an amazing potential here in Ukraine. We see that over and over again uh, with the ideas that come from your ISV companies. Um, actually, with the, with the, even if the demand of, of the people that want to hear about the topic, it's crazy. Everybody wants to learn about this stuff. And I know I've, get, I've got many, many emails from Ukraine saying, you know, how can we use that? How can we launch that? So um, just unleash that potential. I think Ukraine can benefit big time and I'm, I'm looking forward to see those wins.